Hey guys, it's me Priyana. This is going to be another DIY kitchen decor. So I just got my table and I wanted some decorations but I did not want to spend a ton. So I decided to make my own decor. So if you're interested in how I did these paintings and this centerpiece, then continue to watch. So for this project, I do have quite a few things. Most of these things I did purchase from the Dollar Tree with the exception of the glue gun, the glue sticks, and the styrofoam ball. So I do have a lots and lots of flowers I got from the Dollar Tree as well as a few candle pillars, a candle tray, some candles, a vase, and some rocks. I'll also list all the products I have down below in the description box, so please be sure to check that out as well. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to make the candles. I'm taking two candle pillars that I purchased from the Dollar Tree, cutting off the tag, and then I am going to glue the top to the other top. So taking my glue stick, I'm just going to glue that, and then I'm going to stick that um, one of the pillars onto the other. Now I'm going to take the rhinestone ribbons that I did purchase from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap that around the middle. I don't like the differential line between the top and the bottom of the candles as well as the glue, so I'm going to hide that by adding the rhinestone ribbon. So next up is the flower vase. I'm taking a vase I got from the Dollar Tree as well as another candle pillar and I am going to glue, glue that candle pillar onto that vase. Since my kitchen is white, I did want to tie in my white kitchen, so I decided to get some white rocks. I did get these from the Dollar Tree, of course, and then once I have the rocks inside the base, I'm going to take a few of the green leaves that I got from the stems, as well as a few flowers, just to really add to the vase and make it look as nice as possible. So now it is time for the large flower ball. Of course I went to Joanne's and I got the flower ball because I wanted the biggest one possible because I was being extra and it took forever to do. But all I'm doing is I'm taking a flower and I got these from the Dollar Tree. They're pretty easy to tear off and I stick it into the ball. And then once I have the indent into the ball, I take some glue and then I stick that flower back in there. I like to work in perimeter so I start from the top and then I do directly across that and then to the sides and then I just work in pieces. This is the finished product. I absolutely love how this flower ball turned out. So I also added some of the rhinestone ribbons to the base, just like I did with the candle pieces. I'm just taking it, measuring it out, and gluing it on. Okay, you guys, now it is time for the DIY paintings. So to create these DIY abstract paintings, I literally just put paint in random areas with a painting knife. There was no rhyme or reason to how I did it. I just placed the paint in random areas. And just like with makeup, you want to go lightest to darkest. So I literally went from the lightest paint, which was the white, to add texture. And then after that, I just did darker and darker colors. I'm using acrylic because acrylic dries super fast and it's very forgiving. So I will have the link to all of the products I use down below if you're interested as well. So now I am taking some foil. I purchased this foil from Amazon. Just taking strips of it and adding it to the canvas. I love how the metallic looks on the canvas. And because it's going to be abstract, I can just put it anywhere on the canvas and it'll look equally as amazing. And 
once I feel like my canvases are good enough, I let them dry out and then I frame them buying some frames I got from Amazon. I really like adding the frames to the canvas because it does add a professional look to it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY kitchen decor video. I loved how the centerpiece has turned out as well as the paintings. My kitchen is not done yet. I still have to add a chandelier as well as get a few more things like some table mats, plates, um, as well as a cart for the alcohol. So once I'm completely done with my kitchen, I will share the overall finished project with you guys. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to thumbs up this video, subscribe, and share with any friends. I'll talk to you guys later in my next video. Mwah! Bye and take care.